Hey everybody, it is time once again for a smoke detector video. Although this time not an unboxing video because these are actually detectors that I got last week at the uh, Lehigh Valley fan meet in Pennsylvania. Uh, yes, I went to a fan meet and I got smoke detectors because of course I did. <laughs> these actually came from a fellow fan collector Noah Bones. Um, so I want to thank him very greatly for giving these to me. They actually came out of one of his relatives' trailers, or their mobile home, I believe. Um, but these are vintage Gentex smoke detectors, model GX100, as you can see there. But they're actually model GX100-1A, um, because they are the direct wire model without interconnect. Um, as you probably saw there, there were other models that I will get to in a minute. But these, uh, like I said, they came out of a mobile home. And I find that these are typically, we find these a lot in mobile homes. These as well as um, like the Gillette models, like these and the, uh, the ESLs that these are based off of. These were apparently very popular to be used in mobile homes back in the day. So I just thought that was pretty interesting how we find these Gentexes and those ESLs and Gillettes a lot installed in mobile homes back in the 70s. So I guess these were not really necessarily marketed, but just used by contractors. I don't know. But um, yeah, so these, as I mentioned, they are Gentex model GX100-1A. And these are not the very first version. The very first variation of the GX100 smoke detector looked similar to this. Um, although, as you can see, this one has this little, uh, it's not a button here, it's actually a knob. You turn it to the test position there. Similar to like the um, Edwards uh, D1 and the 270 or 217. That's very similar to those. Um, this version is actually, I believe, the second generation version. Uh, it's the, there were, I want to say, three variations or four, three or four, I can't remember. Um, but the very first one looked similar to this, although instead of having this little knob here, they had a clear lens in the lower left-hand corner. It was a little bit lower, like in the corner here. And it said on. And I'm not sure if those had incandescent lamps or if they used LEDs as well um, because uh, my friend Nathaniel or Enland on YouTube actually does have one of those the very first of the GX100 series smoke detectors and his the light doesn't work so I'm not sure if it would be an incandescent I think it was an LED um, although I'm not sure because if I recall correctly in his later video he made he took it apart and discovered that there was no light at all so I'm not sure but either way, um, earliest ones had a lens there. They did not have a test button or test knob or anything, so you had to use smoke to test them. Um, and they were basic. They were just the GX100-1. I believe that was the model number of those. Um, they also had the Gentex logo at the bottom here. Now, most of the other GX100s that I've seen, even in like this series, have the Gentex logo there. These, for some reason, say GX100 smoke detector, and I'm not sure why, because normally, and in my understanding, it should have the Gentex logo there, so maybe this is just some, I don't know, alternate variation on the cover, I, I don't know. But, um, and then the other difference is this horn output vent right here, not really a hole, but you can see how it's the sort of raised square that's attached just on those two corners and then those two edges those two corners are open the earliest one the original GX100-1 had the same output vent thing but then the version that came right after these was different it had uh, this part was flat and instead of there being like this raised square here they had um, like vents on the front here so there was a long one in the middle and then two short ones on either side of it and that uh that model had an electronic piezo horn this version as well as the one that came before it which you can sort of see in there and maybe not really it has an electromechanical horn 
So evidently they switched probably like in the early 80s to the electronic horn. Um, so yeah, it, they started out with the version without the test button and the lens, and they went to this version, which is the... I guess this is like a transitional model then. Um, and then they switched to the GX101 a with the piezo horn. And the ones with the piezo horn had this exact same test knob um, and everything. And you'll notice that there is an LED in the middle of the test knob there. Again, similar to um, the Edwards 217, which had the light in the middle of the knob. Um, and that light actually doubles as both the power indicator and it is the actual photo uh, cell beam for the sensor. These are photoelectric detectors, so they use a photoelectric sensor, and that LED is what is the light source for the light beam for the photoelectric sensor. So that's pretty cool. Now, uh, take a look at the back here. I'll turn them actually both around. Well, first of all, you notice that this one is a lot more yellowed than this one. And that's because they, this one actually was pretty bad when I got it. It's This one is covered in nicotine tar still. I need to clean it off. I've cleaned this one off, but this one I still need to do. And it is still pretty yellowed. Now, there is a little like stain on the side there. That is because... Um, on the circuit board in here, there is a ceramic resistor, and those ceramic resistors get insanely hot. Like, I've had this plugged in for a while now, and I can feel the heat from that resistor in there, and that causes that discoloration from the heat. And actually, Gentex advertised in, I think, one of the, an old like ad we found for these detectors, a newspaper catalog ad, they advertised that the heat from that resistor actually helps with the circulation of the air through the unit. So like the heat rises up through the top of the unit or whatever and it pulls in new fresh air from the bottom so it helps recirculate the air through the unit. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I don't know if that was intentional when they designed it or what but uh, yeah so now I will turn it over to the back here and these did both come with their mounting brackets and the way you take the mounting bracket off is there's a tab up at the top here you just push that and it releases and this one take it off as well because I want to show both the labels this one's a uh, plastic part here's a little broken but it's still the mounting bracket still stays on thankfully this one's this one's fine um, and then thankfully he gave me both the wiring harnesses too so I'm able to wire them both up uh, but here's the label so you can see GX101A is the direct wire one, so that's this one. GX115A is the line cord model, which I would like to find. That'd be pretty cool. And GX100M is multiple stations. So that's with interconnect. So you can see it's dated, um, they're actually both dated October 1st of 1979. So fairly certain that the later ones with the electronic horn came out in like 1980 or so. Uh, yes, yeah, more information. Of course, I don't have the manual, unfortunately. And then the UL sticker, this one, these both have the same exact issue number, which is pretty interesting. So they're like, quote-unquote, siblings, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, and then I do believe that the cover is removable. If you remove that screw... There, I'm going to go ahead and get a screwdriver really quickly and try that out because I do want to show the inside. Alright, here is the inside. So yeah, it was just that one singular screw holding it together. And it has an Edwards horn, which I did know because I remembered in Nathaniel's video he showed the inside and his first generation one had the Edwards horn as well. So there's that ceramic resistor I was talking about. You can see it's kind of got a burn mark there on the circuit board from just been operating. And then here is the the lens for that LED that doubles as the indicator and the photocell sensor light and then that's where it shines out into so this is I guess is the sensor chamber right here. So here's the inside of the cover, and then I guess when you turn the test knob, let's see, it 
pushes this against here. Oh, so it physically moves that bar into the path of the sensor or the light beam, reflects it onto the phone. Oh, so it actually tests the sensor itself. So that's interesting. I thought it was like shorting something. Huh. Okay. So I, I like that, that uh, system of testing a lot better than what I thought it was. Um, yeah. Sensitivity adjustment right there. There's the IC. It's an RCA. Yeah, really cool. Um, kind of a small circuit board in there. And then this horn. Horn is just loose. Okay, uh, let's put the cover back on now, I guess, and give these both a test. Alright, cover's back on that one. So let's give these units a test now. Um, I'll start with this one, I guess. Alright, and do this one. So they both go off pretty quickly, surprisingly, uh, considering how uh, the test function works, how it actually, like, sticks a bar into the light beam and reflects it so very sensitive um and of course the sound is that typical electromechanical vibratory low <clears throat> sound so uh i don't know i'm pretty sure these are the um ac variants of edwards horns because i know edwards had dc squealers as well but there's no transformer in these units so I don't know, maybe the ceramic resistor is dropping the the current, I don't know. Do one more test of each of them. Maybe. No, the knob is kind of hard to turn. And this one. Now I'm going to, let's see, attempt to do them both at the same exact time. So let's see if I can prop the camera somewhere. All right, this is going to be pretty awkward, but uh, do them both at the same time now. It's going to be loud. Nope, can't get that one. That one's, it's really hard to turn with my uh, left hand for some reason. I can turn it really easy with my right. Uh, but yeah, so um, <laughs> I don't think there's anything I left out about these. Um, so yeah, that is just about it for this video of these really cool old Gentex GX100-1A smoke detectors. So thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video.